Hi everyone, Paulo here uh, with an update and further review of the Bosch Universal Brush. I did get a comment online that I hadn't shown it in use, uh, so uh, this presentation will give you some clues as how I've used it and some of the little tricks that I may have found. Right, so I'm going to show you uh, the different attachments and the cleaning devices. So this one uh, is the small brush. And where I found it very useful is to get into those places that you maybe would try and get a toothbrush into, or it's difficult to get a, a brush in. So if you're just cleaning off soap scum, this is incredibly effective. Uh, the problem we have where I live is we have very hard water. In other words, it's got a high mineral content and it's easy to leave marks. Now the second one I'm going to show you is the bigger brush. Now this is a harder brush. Uh, it's, it's quite a tough brush. A couple of tricks I've found is that if you want to, you can put a, a cleaner. I'm just using a And as you can see, it's in the bristles. And terrific for cleaning. Now, obviously, it does make a bit of a mess, as you can see. But look, you're cleaning anyway. So... You can probably see it, it looks tough. But I can put my hand on it and it doesn't hurt me. So that's the brush in use. Now I cleaned a, a friend's outdoor balustrades that were powder coated and they'd gotten stained and moss and all sorts of things uh, had marked them. Now using this brush, and another technique I have found, this is uh, another cleanser, but it comes in a like a paste form. And if you put your brush in it, you put it on the brush. And again, you know, you're not having to put cleaning product on there all the time it's still stuck in the brush so that's another little trick uh, uh, last but not least uh, in this demonstration is uh, a scouring style pad this one is safe on glass I mean obviously always check before you know do a small area uh, and uh, great for things like tiles or uh, glass in the shower and uh, you, know, you can see I can put that on there and it's not damaging things. You put it on a nice chrome tap and it's going quite well. Now as I'm using this, uh, for the first time, it or yes, first time it's run out of power completely. Now it took me up to two hours to charge it, but do remember that uh, this is, it comes as a USB charger that plugs into there and you plug it into a USB port. So it will depend on the output of that USB as to how fast uh, it can be charged. It does last a long time. Now because I use it on and off I can't give you any uh, clear picture but it does last a long time. Like I could clean this whole bathroom and be assured that uh, this is still going. Okay everyone, well as I've said, um, we live in an area where the water is very hard and therefore leaves stains that are sometimes quite difficult to get off. So um, here's a uh, soap holder and I'm going to give it a clean and just see how it ends up using the different tools. Here we go. Just not going to fit. 
press it through the hole while I'm around it. Now, I'm in the confines of a shower, so this is a little bit tricky, but I'll quickly change the heads just to give you an example. Also, this bathroom is getting pretty old, so maintaining it is more difficult as the years have gone on. Um, but I think we'll see that this has improved things. Um, the soap holder. And you can use, in this case, you can use any, the whole three. Now, you probably don't need to, but I'll just use them to, to show you what I've done. So as you can see, and the power is consistent. Don't look too carefully because you'll see that um, some of the marks on the tiles or picking the grout uh, can't come off. But um, unfortunately, somewhere in the near future, that will mean a new bathroom. But this one's 27 years old. Uh, but not the fittings that I'm now working on. They have been replaced before. Okay, so I've just uh, washed it uh, with... Uh, plain water, dried it off with a towel, uh, and you can see the difference. Now do remember that besides soap scum, I'm trying to get rid of mineral deposits, which are much more difficult to get off. And uh, uh, so uh, if you're just getting rid of soap scum, it's going to be really easy.